Adventure. Now I'm putting my on W four C Y where he Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Mick from Visions of Atlantis. Nice, here at Bloodstock. Oh my God, it's bloody freaking hot. It is, it's unbelievable. Actually, I, I've came here to the UK quite some times, and this is absolutely the hottest, hottest time ever, which is good on one side, because I'm definitely enjoying it, worrisome on others, but this is not what the interview is about. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I always, like, I'm in awe of an artist like you that's going to get up on stage in this heat. Like, I don't even know how you do it. <laughs> don't ask me. Actually, I'm even crazier because, you know, as a pirate, I wear my velvet coat on oh stage. Oh, my God. <laughs> but luckily tonight we play at 21, so there is time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's going to be fresher. <laughs> and me, I live in Florida, so I can't wait to go home so I can cool off because it's so hot. Can you imagine that, saying that? How warm is it in Florida right now? It's... It's pretty hot. Okay, yeah, hot Jesus. and humid. Unbelievable. Like, we have two seasons: hot and hotter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I man. don't envy you, man. <laughs> we do have real pirates in Florida too, by the way. Actually, we know. We've been touring in the U.S. lately, and Florida is definitely. I mean, here in uh, where was it in Bristol? Bristol is the city of uh, Blackbeard. Ah. This I've got told yesterday when we played there. Uh, but I know that Florida has true pirates over there. Like, So I, I got a funny story for you. I did this girl. Her family were those pirates in Florida. See? See? It's and, crazy. and they're crazy. <laughs> because we pirates, we are crazy. Man. Oh, man. So <laughs> let's talk about the mixture of the pirate and the music and and how you can paint this picture to our listeners that haven't heard you before not a genre cuz i hate that shit it just boxes you in as it an makes artist makes total sense to me yeah let, let an artist describe their music so the thing is that we consider ourselves romantic pirates which means that we are not the pirates that go and seize other ships steal treasures and you know we are not the evil guy. Right. We want to believe that a pirate is a free man who chose not to live by any rule. We want to feel free to do whatever we want. You see mm -hmm. what I mean? It's about freedom. We even have a song which is called Freedom, which nice. totally embraces you know, this uh, concept in, in its lyrics. And this is what piracy is about. It's about you know sailing the sea because you don't want to know uh, where you are going. You want to explore the world. You want to embrace the liberty that we all have. Yeah. And this is exactly the concept that we bring on stage, dressed up in this way and, and fully embracing the pirate, uh, the pirate uh, environment, the pirate world and the pirate universe. And this is where we want to take our listeners. Therefore, and you will see it later if you will attend our show, we put on some sort of musical that mixes with a metal show. There is so much acting, so much uh, events that are happening during the show and we involve the crowd. It becomes a big game in which we want people to forget of the rules that they have to follow mm. inevitably in the society of nowadays. And we want for an hour and a half, an hour, depending on you know the length of our sect, we want them to just embrace piracy, feel free, have fun, and have a night to remember that will be kept for the next days. Like This is just what we want to do, you know? I love that because I'm a big proponent that a live show should be a show. Okay, That's, a show. You're 100% right. I, I love this. I love hearing this because this is exactly our concept. You know, this is what we work for every day. What, well, and why would me, as somebody that attends, why would I want to go to a concert to sit, look at something I can watch on YouTube? That's for sure. That's you know? I, mean, I mean, a live show always have a different vibe. Yeah. No matter what. You know, no if doubt. the musicians are, if the musicianship is good and if, you know, the sound is good, the sound, the old team has to be good, but... Even the 
uh, worse record sounds better live just because of the the vibration that you mm. feel on your body, the loudness, you know, the bass frequencies that surrounds you and embraces you. But of course, if it also becomes a show when you have something that pleases your eyes, this makes a real difference. You know, it's funny you said about the bass because I just I was covering a concert a few weeks ago in Florida and I brought my brother who is not a metalhead. But I'm like, come see my life. And he couldn't handle the bass. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I love that feeling. He's like, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm like, I love that feeling. Like, I sometimes I'll just stand up by the subwoofer because I love the feeling. <laughs> I totally see what you mean, you know? Like, you know when your body shakes because the concert is pleasant for your feelings, yeah. you know, for your touch, not only for your ears, this is where music is one of a kind. It's There is no other art that gives you this. That's right. And I think definitely I love the concept of what you're talking about with pirates and freedom because I think you guys need to recruit the whole world to become pirates because we've become a bunch of insane people. And I think that's the way we can unite and finally have some freedom because people think they have freedom. Absolutely. And it's, you know, it's also risky because when you are free, you are forced to make your own choices. Yeah. Yeah. But this is where you grow as a person. This is where, when you risk it, in the worst case, you've lear- you learn something with a mistake. But you are independent. You know, freedom means living your life by your own choices and facing the consequences, both if they're good or if they're bad. And sometimes, That's you know, right. comfort zone is, is a word that people like. I don't like comfort zone, ever. I've never been a comfort zone person. We, as pirates, we don't know what a comfort zone gotta is. Got to bust through <laughs> that comfort zone. Now, I'm going to ask you a question probably nobody's ever asked you. Maybe somebody does, but I'm hoping they didn't because that's what I like to do. Instead of asking you the same question everybody asks, you got a lot of bracelets on, a lot of necklaces. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this should be a video interview. Of course, the Kraken one. Oh, this Kraken, yeah. That's this is pr- a, a huge, that massive says pirate all gift. over it. Yeah. Yeah, this is a huge, massive gift from a super talented um, handcrafter. Uh, I think this is the right way. It, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a native English speaker. So how do you call it when it's hand, completely handcrafted? What's the person who does it? A handcrafter? Um, jeweler, maybe? Yeah, jeweler maker. Like, But she, yeah. she literally does this with her hands. Like she creates the stamp. Nice. She carves, you know, the stamp and everything. She's called Lisa Berg. She lives close to Milano, between Milan and Switzerland. And, yeah, this is a massive, wonderful gift that, I mean, we have a song which is called A Life of Our Own, which speaks about a kraken. And it even has our logo here uh, on its head. So it's, it, how can it not be my favorite one? I love it. <laughs> and I got a suggestion I'm throwing out there. And maybe because I know her, she might, like, hear it. And I'm, I'm, it's like paying it forward because I did this for her with corn. You guys should ha- go on tour with... Are you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> Lacuna coil. Oh, that would be. And have a pirate fight between the two of you on stage. <laughs> well, actually, I'm Italian. Christina and the guys are from Italy. That's I why actually I, said I that. actually know them. Why not? Right? I, I honestly, honestly, it, it never came to my mind even to ask, but now I will keep this in mind. See, look at that. Yeah, look of at course. That. We're putting that it out be, there. That would be nice. You know? Uh, so I also understand you just put out like your first DVD. Is that correct? Um, so uh, we have a DVD that was released uh, two years ago, okay. and it was our first, our first DVD. And recently we released a live album that includes a DVD as bonus track. Nice. Uh, the live album is called Live at Vakken, uh, Pirates Over Vakken. Of course, it was recorded uh, at Vakken Open Air. And the DVD uh, was recorded at Bang Your Head Festivals, uh, Festival in, uh, in Germany. The thing is that... Uh, the lineup of Visions of Atlantis was scrambled through the years. Mm-hmm. And finally, in 2016, we found stability. And right now, we are the same guys since quite some time. And this have this has somehow grown a family uh, feeling that is spreading all over the place. That's the chemistry the that we have on stage is awesome. And it's going beyond the 
professional job, like Dushi, the guitar player. We call him Dushi. Uh, he, he <laughs> that came, wouldn't be a actually, good name chose, in America. <laughs> he chose the name. He is facing the consequences, but this is part of being a pirate. Yeah, we, right? we, we call all the bad people. You're a douche. <laughs> <laughs> so Dushi came to my place last week, and we went on the seaside together as friends you know like this is the kind of relationship that we I have love it. Uh, herbert our best player got married a couple of weeks ago we were all there so it's like a friendship that goes way beyond you know what we are on stage and i think that this is something that you can really perceive you can really feel on stage this is something that is you need it and we are releasing so many live records like one live record three years ago one live record last year because beyond what happens in the studio we want to show that this is who we are like we want to have uh people that cannot attend our show witness how a visions of atlantic show feels to be seen and live records just do it perfectly you know absolutely and i love a live record so there you go and uh especially when you're a band like you because i'm a big believer of you have to have exactly what you're talking about I can always tell, and most people can, when people are not like gelling on stage, and then you can tell when they really are. And then you're having fun, and then we're having fun. That's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. And this is, you literally describe what I'm telling to many people after show, you know? Like after the show, we usually go to the crowd. We are not one of these bands that are like, no, we don't want to see anyone after the show. You know, we are rockstar, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no offense to anyone, but they really don't like this attitude. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be. You should support each other too. And I also believe that we are alive because people are coming to our shows. You know, like no matter if it's one, five, ten, two hundred or two thousand, we live, we exist as a band because of our audience. Yeah. So I want to be grateful to those who come to our show. And this is why we hang out as much as we can unless there is a super tight schedule that forbids you, you know, that prevents you to uh, to stay in the crowd a while. And this is exactly what I'm telling. And like on stage, we have fun. And this passes through because if we have fun, you have fun. This is exactly what I exactly. say all the time. Exactly. This is so true, so real. You, there you go. So let's tell everybody how they connect you on socials, on the web, get your music, check your tour dates, but most importantly, merch. <laughs> yeah. I my listeners know that I tell them if they don't buy merch of the bands I interview, they can't listen to my show. That's true. <laughs> uh, nowadays, royalties coming from the streamings are so little. Yeah, like, just make a research on Google, and you will discover that we earn like zero point zero 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 something from every stream of our music. So. It's true. Like we don't earn with uh, with any sales in terms of the. I mm -hmm. mean, we earn, but we earn such a little amount. You know, it would be a lie to say that we don't earn at all. But it's such a little amount that don't make any difference. But if you come to our show and you buy our merch, this is how you truly support the band. So, first of all, attend the show of Visions of Atlantis. Come join our ship. Get on board. I promise you we'll have fun because it's not just a concert. It's a real show. It's a musical about it. pirates. And you will see it tonight. You will witness this tonight. And if you buy our, our merch over there, this is the most direct way to support us. Otherwise, through Napalm Record website, this is the way in which we still sell our records because we pass through our label. Our label supports us in a They're wonderful way. I am I'm absolutely grateful to Napalm. So if you go napalmrecords.com slash shop you will find everything or visions of atlantis on every network so facebook instagram uh visions of atlantis dot 80 is austria because the band is uh, right. based in austria you will just find us and connect to us it's easy well i love it i love what you guys are all about i can't wait to see you here at bloodstock tonight and thanks for being on the adventures of pipe man my pleasure thank you for having us Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.